Welcome. Welcome to Purple Luna Rose Tarot and Astrology. This is going to be a divine masculine reading for our Pluto energy. So Pluto has recently gone direct. This is a once in your lifetime transit happening right now. So this energy is bringing in massive death and transformation, rebirth energy. Remember guys, every time something closes out, something new begins. So we're going to take a deep dive into the underworld because Pluto doesn't only rule Scorpio, Pluto also rules the underworld. In this reading, I'm going to check to see what that was for Divine Masculine. Let's get started with Queen of the Moon. All right, Divine Masculine, first card I'm going to look at is why did you have to take the journey to begin with? What did you have to heal? It's interesting. It's almost like this energy doesn't want me to know. focus card comes out you were not able to focus so there was definitely some blockage in the third eye i see the butterfly opening up that's the transformation so before you couldn't see and now you can and it's not see like seeing with your two eyes the third eye or sometimes called the brow chakra is the all-seeing eye so you weren't able to see behind the veil before Pluto retrograde, but now you are. All right, Divine Masculine, let's see. What did you have to heal? What did you have to heal? Surrender. You had to surrender. You had to surrender to the journey that you're on. All right, let's clarify a little bit. I'm gonna use Hocus Pocus because it is the season. One, four, two, six. Let's see what you couldn't focus on or why you weren't able to focus. We have the five of lightning. This is five of swords energy. Um, this is negative thoughts, disagreements, battles in the mind. Fear. You also have the five of pumpkins. Fives are challenging energy. Five of Pumpkins says there could have been some depression. Somebody's howling at the moon. Five of Pumpkins does say it's okay to ask for help. We have the tower. So I did the feminines reading right before the masculine and I do get this feeling that the feminine was prepared for Pluto energy because the feminine had already surrendered to this, this spiritual awakening or this type of spiritual awakening or this specific spiritual awakening journey. It's like the masculine hadn't surrendered to the journey. So the tower moment came. The tower moment could have definitely brought some heavier feelings, depression, anxiety. All right, let's look at surrender. You have judgment coming out. Judgment is your purpose, your calling. So you're just now surrendering to your calling. Look at this. Ace of lightning comes out. This is Ace of Swords. New clarity, new comprehension, new thoughts. 
we also have the Four of Candles. Four of Candles is union, firm foundation. It's also financial security. I feel like that's what caused you to surrender, Divine Masculine. It's like you heard your calling. And it's also like you understand that your needs will be met if you surrender to your spiritual journey. Alright, let's see what you gained. What did Divine Masculine gain? on their journey to the underworld during Pluto retrograde. Pluto retrograde started on May 1st. Right before that, we had like three months where we got to experience Pluto in Aquarius. Now that Pluto is moving direct again out of Capricorn, Pluto will be back in Aquarius January 2024. So Divine Masculine, you had three months right before summer started to see what Pluto was going to bring for the next 20 years in the sign of Aquarius. I think you've seen some financial abundance in that time. I think you were able to focus in that time. I think you were probably closer to spirit than ever before in that time. And then Pluto went retrograde. So it's like when Pluto went retrograde back into Capricorn, Capricorn is all about doing it the same way. Over and over and over. So you went back. Nourishment comes out for what you've gained. It's number seven. It's mind, body, and soul. It says that you've now realized that you have to balance mind, body, and soul. We have this tin of pumpkins leveling up, climbing the ladder. Eight of candles quickly, moving quickly. The six of candles, victory. And the seven of lightning, quietly. Leveling up quickly and quietly. On the bottom, you have King of Potions. King of Potions is my clue card for Divine Masculine. It is this energy of needing to learn to love your scars. You're ashamed of something. You need to offer yourself forgiveness for something. And then you need to take a good look in the mirror and see how strong you are, Divine Masculine how powerful you are, how capable you are. And then realize that the scars that you have, that you hide, are what made you this strong, powerful, and capable divine masculine. All right, let's close it out with magical times. So this is gonna be your guidance for now that Pluto is direct, And Pluto will, this is the only time this transit will happen in your lifetime. If you're watching me today. <laughs> it's 
2023. Guidance for Divine Masculine. The surrender was pretty big alone. Sacred space. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power in stillness. In your sacred space is the peace that you seek. Dignity. It's going to be on the bottom. Take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and actions. Big confirmation from spirit. What I just said. Be proud of yourselves, Divine Masculine. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope that reading was helpful. Thank you so much for watching my video. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.